We have Yasmin Nouri here. She is doing a Master of Science in Genetics in the Division of Health Sciences. Are you ready? I think so. <laughs> cool. Well, I'm just so. going to go and go this way, cool. press this, and then you go for it. Thank you. Cancer is a riddle that scientists have been trying to solve for as long as we can remember. It's a terrifyingly complex disease. In fact, it's not one disease, but hundreds of separate diseases, all with one common attribute, cellular immortality. It's a paradox. The death of a whole person, because their cells, their smallest parts, refuse to die. So how do you combat a disease so perplexing? Well, we're doing it with miniature organs grown in a lab. I spend most of my time in a corner of the cancer world known as HDGC, or hereditary diffuse gastric cancer. This is an aggressive form of stomach cancer that's caused by a mutation in the E. cadherin gene. It has a disproportionately high prevalence in the New Zealand Māori population and a very low survival rate. Currently, the primary treatment is to get your entire stomach removed. However, this is only effective if the cancer hasn't spread yet. So, as part of a team at the um, Cancer Genetics Lab, I'm working to develop a chemo-preventative treatment. This is basically a low-dose, low-frequency treatment that will prevent mutation carriers in these HDGC families from ever developing the cancer. My specific role has been helping to develop a new model for this cancer, which is this, a miniature stomach, or gastric organoid. We do this by extracting stem cells from a mouse and culturing them, directing their growth into these small 3D stomach-like structures. I can then mutate the E. cadherin gene in these stomachs so that they become cancerous and reflect the stomach of an HDGC patient. So this here is one of our gastric organoids. The green cells are the healthy cells, so they still have E. cadherin, whereas the pink cells have had their E. cadherin mutated and are now cancerous. So this has been imaged on a 3D microscope and then digitally reconstructed with the end cut off, so you can see into the center of the stomach. And as you can see, these red cancerous cells have broken away from the stomach lining and are infiltrating the center, migrating and spreading. So now that we've got these models, we can start using them for drug screening. So we're looking for drugs that kill off these red cancerous cells, but don't harm the healthy green cells. Successful drugs will then be passed on to animal models and then eventually human trials. So these models provide a new platform, not only for studying disease, but also for drug screening. They're reproducible, versatile, and they greatly reduce the number of animals needed in research. So for these reasons, along with the promising drug candidates we've already found, there's huge optimism in my lab for both the future of HDGC and cancer treatment in general. Thank you. Okay, judges, take it away. Well done, Yasmin. The, the uh, f first up is always the hardest position to, um, to have in these competitions, but you are now the benchmark. Uh, you had uh, a lot that was really good in setting the, setting the scene with a question, um, going through quite nicely, and I like the way that you linked through to what and how the multiple benefits of the work that you're doing is not only in terms of the, um, the human benefits, but also as, a, as an animal reduction for future research, so well done. Thanks, Yasmin. Really enjoyed that presentation. Um, great relevance and scene setting. Uh, and what I thought was a clear explanation of very complex topic. Um, I like the eye-catching slide as well, and you really um, referred to that quite nicely during the presentation, so well done. That was great. You set a very high bar. You started off with a teasy question that made it everybody want to know more, and then you worked the crowd the whole time. I saw your eyes moving around, engaging everybody. That was brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> 